Uranus under the microscope. There may be water on them in liquid state. The information collected by the Voyager probe still allows for new discoveries. NASA researchers reanalyzed old data, including, together using modern computer modeling techniques. Thanks to it has been determined that on four of the five largest moons of Uranus it can liquid water present. The oceans are supposed to be located between the ice the shells and nuclei of natural satellites of the gas giant. Uranus is the seventh planet in the solar system. He's a gas man a giant, although sometimes scientists call Uranus and Neptune ice cream giants. This is because the atmosphere of these planets consists primarily of, all hydrogen and helium, contains more frozen volatiles than larger gas giants. Uranus is the coldest planet in the solar system. The minimum temperature there is minus 224 degrees Celsius. Except the coldest Uranus atmosphere is also distinguished by its axis of rotation, which is strongly inclined and it is located almost in the plane of the planet's orbit. Therefore its poles lie where most planets in the solar system have an equator. Uranus has a ring system and numerous moons. In total at least 27 natural satellites orbit Uranus. The five largest wear names Titania, diameter approximate 1,578 km, Overron, diameter approximate 1,522 km, Umbriel, diameter approximate 1,169 km, Ariel, diameter approximate 1,158 km, and Miranda, diameter approximate 471 km. New findings suggest that four of them may have oceans depths of tens of kilometers. Scientists have long believed that due to its large size Titania, it can retain internal heat, and therefore it can there is a liquid ocean on it. Other moons were previously common considered too small to have liquid on them. However, as follows from water may also find new analyzes on Ariel, Oberon, and Umbriel. See the largest natural satellites of Uranus, only Miranda, has no conditions promoting the occurrence of life-giving liquids. The description and results of the research were published in the Journal of Geophysical Research, Planets. Soon, scientists want to send a probe that has take a closer look at Uranus. In preparation for such a mission, researchers they are already focusing their attention on the planet to deepen their knowledge of the topic the mysterious arrangement of Uranus. The new work may provide information about this, and how a future mission can study the planet's moons. But the article also has implications beyond Uranus argues lead author Julie Castillo Rajas of NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California. When it comes to dwarf planets and moons, its scientists they had previously found evidence of oceans in several unlikely events places, including the dwarf planet Ceres and Saturn's moon Mimesi. So there are heat retention mechanisms that we don't fully understand. W in our work, we check what they can be and what they have to do with other bodies in the solar system, translates Castillo Rajas. The study re-examined the data collected during Voyager 2 flybys of Uranus in the 1980s. 20th century and newer ones ground observations. The authors built computer models with additional ones information about water discovered on other celestial bodies, such as Saturn's moon Enceladus or Pluto. Thanks to new models, researchers assessed that the surface of large the moons of Uranus provide sufficient isolation for internal arrest heat and, consequently, the presence of liquid water. There is evidence for geological activity on Ariel where relatively recently some matter she surfaced, perhaps from ice geysers. However, maintaining internal heat is not crucial through moons.
study suggests that they occur in subsurface oceans abundant chlorides, salts, and ammonia, which probably act as effective antifreeze. Of course, there are still a lot of questions about the big ones moons of Uranus says Castillo Rajes. We need to develop new models for various assumptions about the origin of the moons, in order to plan future observations explains. Understanding what is under and on the surface of these moons, will help scientists and engineers choose the best research instruments for future missions and design devices that can check whether there is actually water in the state deep under the ice crust liquid.